with it. Your neighborhood reporters are busy today covering this storm. We've got stories from Tyler Job in Green Bay to Margaret Cahill in Fond du Lac, Noah Friel in Ashwaubenon, Lindsay Stanger in Green Bay, and Katie Shiro in Howard. We begin with Tyler Job, who takes us along for a ride with a first hand look at how police deal with these snowy conditions. Lots of snow may be on the ground, but the work doesn't stop for police officers. Definitely not. Patrolling the streets and doing their best to keep you safe. A lot of times the snow can make our job a little bit difficult. Captain Clinton Bagoon says the snow can delay officers in their response times. We have to slow down for the weather and the snow just as much as anybody else if we're going to get there safely. And, you know, if we crash on the way to, to respond, we're not doing anybody else any good. That includes emergencies. Officers have to be more cautious on the roads. The same things that a normal driver is doing, we're doing. Bagoon says there isn't as much traffic on days like this. Officers instead dedicate their focus to respond to crashes. So a lot of times we get distracted by the other things that don't maybe necessarily make as many traffic stops, unfortunately, which can be preventative. And when it comes to winter gear, they can layer up, but... We have to be able to grab all the equipment on our on our tool belt, so a lot of us wear thinner gloves. Bagoon says he doesn't necessarily look forward to these snowy shifts, but if people take their time, we can hopefully have a good result and not any more accidents, which would be nice. In Green Bay, Tyler Job, NBC 26. After Fond du Lac got over 10 inches of snow, snow plows like these took to the streets to clear the way. <laughs> City officials say planning begins several days before a major snow event. Um, a storm, for example, like we just had, uh, we have everything loaded up, equipment checked over, safety checked, ready to go. So when we go out, we don't have uh, surprises. Then the snow comes. This morning, we all came in at 2 o'clock, but we were out all day yesterday. We worked from 7 till 7, the main crew. 20 trucks drove the streets of Fond du Lac last night. We need to make sure that those roads are cleared. We need to make sure roads are pushed back enough that when this does start melting, we don't have flooding issues in our city streets. All that preparation paid off because after more than 30 hours. Pretty much done now. Now we'll just go out and um, re-scrape some of our mains and secondary mains that we had salted earlier that are loosening up now. And residents are safely back on the roads. In Fond du Lac, I'm Margaret Cahill, NBC 26. I'm Noelle Friel, your Ashwaubenon neighborhood reporter. This morning, we caught up with some Ashwaubenon residents as they were shoveling out after last night's snowfall. Some estimate they were shoveling about 12 inches of snow, but still, they say they weren't going to let that stop them from going out. I got my oil checked and I checked all my tires. Uh, I also put heat in my car overnight. If it drops below zero, you want that in your tank. So I just made sure to run all the maintenance that I could. And I'll just drive slow. We have all-wheel drive, and I run uh, Blizzek snow tires, so we're good to go. I'm confident in my driving skills. Austin Straubel Airport was mostly quiet today. Many airlines preemptively canceled or delayed flights for this morning to avoid long wait times at the airport, with the majority of the flights for later in the day still running on time. In Ashwaubenon, Noelle Friel, NBC 26. Man, I have had a long morning watching people shovel and snow blow their own driveways. Now, the snow has stopped falling, but for many Green Bay residents, the work has only just begun. Try to help everybody, you know, help everybody. It's often said that the older you get, the slower you get. Back and here, probably a couple hours. Normally, he gets to work by 6.30, but I don't think he got there until 7.30. Probably out here a good hour, and then now we've been out here probably 45 minutes or so now. But snow knows no age. <laughs> my back hurts. Oh yeah, my back is feeling it. I'm, I'm over 30 now. But uh, this is good exercise. And today it was the snow versus everyone. This is all from this morning. It's usually not this bad. We had a lot of, a lot of snow. With nearly a foot of snow to work with, it was all hands on deck. In Green Bay, Lindsay Sanger, NBC 26. All right, someone's got to help me get out of here. It's your neighborhood reporter in Howard Swamico and Oneida, Katie Shiro, and I'm here at Huron Automotive in Howard, where I spoke with an expert about the ins and outs of your tires and navigating the wintry roads.
According to Huron Automotive Service Advisor Josh, one way to stay safe on the roads during snowy and blizzard-like conditions is to get winter tires if you can. He said winter tires have different rubber in them than regular tires, and the makeup of that rubber allows for much better traction in snow. Josh added that it's actually safer to have a car with front wheel drive and winter tires than all wheel drive but regular tires. Another important tire tip, checking tire pressure. Making sure that your tires are inflated in the winter time is a little bit more important just because when colder weather hits, the air inside of your tire condenses and shrinks and that pressure will drop. And if you have lower than optimal tire pressure, if you impact a curb or something like that, you might pop your tire off the bead. He said tire leaks can also be common in the winter, but most local gas stations have air pumps there to check your tire pressure. And he said most importantly, always make sure your car is prepared ahead of time with blankets and water in case you do find yourself in a situation not even winter tires can get you out of. In Howard, Katie Shiro, NBC26. Cameron has your full forecast coming up after the break, but first here's a look at the current conditions where you are. Stay with us.